Hey, Wussy. Welcome back to The Trans Agenda. My name is Ivy Fisher, and we have a lot of serious stuff to talk about today. 2019 has seen an onslaught of violence against trans women of color all across America. It honestly seems like every single day, another Black trans woman gets killed. The spread of the hashtag Say Her Name has really helped to bring awareness to the murders of women like Malaysia Booker, Zoe Spears, Chanel Lindsay, but it still seems like nobody is doing anything to help. Why wait to uplift and protect trans women of color until we are a hashtag, until somebody takes our lives and our opportunities and our futures away from us? That is not, this whole thing is backwards. And I'm speaking from a place of pain. I'm speaking from a place of fear. I am scared to go outside. Like. Me being a six foot something tall black trans woman just trying to live my life in everyday society scares me. I don't know what is going to happen next. I don't know who could be next. Um, very well could be me. Very well could be somebody that I know in my own community. It's a fucking scary feeling. And the thing that, that makes me the most mad is that there are resources out there to help trans women. There are conversations to be had that people aren't having. The Black community, I will get into this more in a later video, but it's really the pain and all of the violence and all of the like struggle and everything comes from within the Black community and that terrifies me. Oh my God, reel it in, reel it in. But yeah, toxic masculinity and all of these structures that black men um, love to uphold and cling to, um, they use them as tools to hurt not only black trans women, but black cis women as well. Like it's all, it's all backwards. And it's not just the black community. I don't think that this is a problem that only the black community is dealing with or like it's only the black community that is being violent and like invoking all of this hatred against trans women. It's everyone. And it's crazy to see how privilege and power can really exponentially impact one group of people, that being trans women of color. We are at a societal disadvantage. We are living in poverty. We are homeless. We are getting ostracized from our families. We are just really taking all of the heat and pressure of being just like a scapegoat. And that is so life-threatening, daunting. So I'm gonna need everybody out there watching this video to do your research on the organizations that you can donate to. Um, look out for the GoFundMes on Instagram and Facebook and all the crowdfunding and everything that trans women of color need in order to live and progress on our transitions and be able to exist comfortably in society because that's all we're trying to do is be people, move and shake like y'all do. Black men, black people, if you're black watching this video, go out and have conversations with your people. Have conversations with your family and the older people around you. Talk to the younger kids around you. Be open with them about your support of trans people and your support of the queer community um, and how you view us as one of y'all because we need allies we need true allies that are going to be there for us and try to convince the people in their circles that we are not a threat in the way that y'all are making us out to be i hope we see a change in the near future because like this is a reality for me get killed for wanting to live and walk down the street, be myself, anything like that. I, I'm not gonna get sad. Thanks so much for watching. Send this to someone, let them know how much you care about trans women and how much you want to uplift the trans community and how they should do the same. And let's all work on trying to unify, okay? Bye, let's see.